Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. I am your Venugopal. As part of this video, we will see how can we install SAP tools in Eclipse or Ana Studio. As you are aware, currently most of our SAP systems are running on Ana database. And if you want to do any development on Ana specific objects, mostly that functionality will be allowed only from either Eclipse based uh, Ana Studio or the native Ana Studio. Correct? Meaning the Ana Studio given by SAP or else in the Eclipse you have to add the necessary SAP related tools. So by default Eclipse will not come with all the necessary SAP related tools installed in it. Correct? At the same time even if you are downloading SAP Ana Studio from the software center provided by SAP also you will not be able to have each and every SAP tools based on the need if at all a consultant is a BW on HANA consultant he will work mostly on BW modeling perspective similarly if a consultant is on is an ABAP on HANA consultant he will mostly work on ABAP perspective or ABAP on HANA perspective in his Eclipse or HANA studio right like that different kinds of consultant may utilize different SAP tools uh, provided by SAP which can be installed on top of either Eclipse or HANA studio as part of today's session I will take you guys through detailed steps those are very simple steps but having better knowledge on this will help you to configure the Eclipse along with SAP tools or SAP HANA studio along with the SAP tools necessary tools on your system or laptop okay let us start today's session friends so if you see the steps there are three basic steps you are supposed to follow the first step is we have to install the latest version of Eclipse from Eclipse official website. Okay. And then we have to modify the Eclipse.ini file of your downloaded Eclipse. Okay. And then we have to install necessary SAP tools on top of your Eclipse or Ana Studio. Okay. The procedure remains same irrespective of whatever the version of Eclipse which you are using. Okay. Most important point which is supposed to be considered over here is uh, most of us will uh, try to connect to SAP system in, from our office laptop. Correct? That is the way we are supposed to work to maintain the confidentiality and all. So meaning when we are trying to install these SAP tools right we should ensure that uh, our laptop or desktop provided by the company or the client is not connected to any VPN because we should have uninterrupted or unmonitored internet access. So make sure that you have not connected to your company VPN because sometimes the company VPN might block you from accessing all the necessary tools. So for that reason you have to ensure your laptop or desktop has full uninterrupted internet access and unmonitored also. For that reason uh, make sure that you do not, do not connect to any of the VPN or company's VPN. Okay. So let us go through each and every step in detail and try to understand how can we configure this SAP tools on Eclipse or Ana Studio. So the very first step is we have to install the latest version of Eclipse. Right. So you can find the latest version of Eclipse from this URL what you see over here www.eclipse.org slash downloads slash package you can download the latest eclipse package which you can find over there okay over here you see i am in that uh, eclipse.org slash download slash package website you can download any version of your preference okay so preferably the latest version or last version prior to the latest and you also might be aware I believe Eclipse will launch the stable version every three months or quarterly months correct. You can go with either the latest or one step or one version prior to the latest version. Okay once you download your Eclipse from your Eclipse website what is the next step you are supposed to do? The next step is you if at all if you have downloaded the zip version you just have to unzip it. If you see over here I already downloaded the Eclipse version and I unzipped it okay and now what is the next step the next step is to modify the eclipse.ini file so 
there will be a file called eclipse.ini what we have to do we have to add following two lines of code okay these two lines of code at the end at the end you will be able to find add iphone modules is equal to all system so you just have to add these two so let us see that so I am in a folder where I have unzipped or extracted my all the Eclipse tool related files. You search for eclipse.ini. Okay. This is a configuration file. You see. So there is a file. All you have to do is right click and edit. When you go to edit mode, you see there is a last line called add iPhone modules is equal to all system. At the end you have to add these two lines of code okay these are mandatory you just have to add it i have already added that's why you see over here and if you have a proper authorization you can easily edit it edit this file at the end you add these two lines of code and click on save file save close the file that's it okay you can come back what is the next step we have done with step two which is modifying or modification of eclipse.ini configuration file eclipse configuration file the following step would be we have to install the necessary sap or hana tools which is really our sap related tools needed for your actual development right actual project or actual uh, the mode of work if at all you are a bw related consultant you need bw related tools if you are a abap consultant you need abap tool if it is a native hana consultant you need sap tool which will help to do the native hana related modeling and other stuffs right so for these steps in order to perform these steps what we have to do we have to go and find the relevant link to install sap tools from this portal okay so https colon tools.hana.ondemand.com okay you have to go to this portal or this particular url when you go to this url you will be able to find the official installation link provided by sap to install necessary sap tool for your current version of the eclipse okay so what i will do i'll just go to the same portal tools.hana.ondemand.com i am in this particular portal okay and now if you see over here it clearly says eclipse software sites okay if at all you are using an eclipse and you wanted to install sap tools yes in the sap itself they have clearly given what are the url you are supposed to use for a specific version of the eclipse so first thing is you launch your eclipse okay when you launch your eclipse First thing you have to identify what is the version. If you see what is the release 2022.06. And if I go back, you see for 20, Eclipse 2022.06, I am supposed to use this URL to install the necessary HANA or SAP tools. Okay. Let me go back. Choose your respective uh, the workspace, which is the default one. And now in a moment, our Eclipse will start and it will open right once it opens what I have to do I have to go back and find out what is the current version of eclipse as you saw in the eclipse uh, launch screen only you would be able to get what is the version of your eclipse otherwise what you can also do once the eclipse starts you can go to help menu of your eclipse and find out what is the current version which you have which you are using okay so it is loading up the eclipse you see 2022.06 is the current version. Okay. So, as I said, if you don't know what is the current version of the Eclipse which you are using, you have to go to help about Eclipse IDE. You will be able to find, you see, currently I am using 2022.06 version and 4.24 build might be. Okay. If I go back, you see. 2022 06 4.24 is there so now what i have to use i have to use this url so copy this url so what this url will do is we have to use this url and use this as a reference to install the sap tool in our eclipse or ana studio when we do that what will happen is system or our eclipse will try to hit this particular url and bring the necessary sap tools which is being maintained or provided by this url how can we do that 
we are currently in what step we are in step 3 we identify the specific url which is relevant for our current version of the eclipse and then you have to go to eclipse and then go to the menu from the menu you have to choose help and install new software you have to choose this option once you choose that option here you have an option called work with correct you paste your url okay which you have copied from on demand uh, portal of sap hana now you can click on add you give some name maybe sap tools or sap hana tools and click on add so that now there will be an entry added in my Eclipse and you see you will be able to see all the tools which is been my Eclipse trying to hit that particular URL which we just pasted over here and it is trying to show us these are the different modeling perspective or the tools which is been available in this URL. If you want to choose all four you can choose that but I am interested only in ABAP development tool and also the modeling tools for SAP BW for ANA and SAP BW powered by ANA because I am majorly working on BW on and BW on HANA and I mostly work uh, uh, and even ABAP and development tools also so I am choosing that but uh, nobody is stopping you to choose all four it may take additional amount of uh, space in your system and also it may take a uh, little more time also and also make sure that you choose this group by item category so that uh, there are different uh, tools which is going to be installed those are grouped by category so I am interested in ABAP development tool category and also modeling tools for SAP BW for HANA and BW powered by HANA okay all the necessary tools which is needed uh, will be automatically checked now all you have to do is click on next when you click on next system is going to do the handshake between the eclipse and that portal and uh, check the calculating the requirement and dependencies if there is any and then it will take us to the next screen okay so in the next screen it says review the installation details review the item to be installed so based on my selection it will show all the list of uh, items which is going to be installed from that on demand portal so i am fine with all i will click on next when i click on next system will ask you to accept each and every license uh, correct you just have to accept everything just read that if at all you have enough time to read those agreements or the licenses and you just have to enable i accept terms of the license agreement and click on finish when you do that in the bottom right corner you see installation software or installing software it will show the progress window how much amount of time or how much percentage of the tools which is being installed on your machine meaning it will show the progress of the current uh, installation of sap tools so it may take some time based on the internet speed of your uh, uh, current uh, connection so once it reaches 100% so you are good sap modeling tool would have been installed in your uh, laptop or desktop and you are good to start configuration configuring your system let us wait for some more time till it complete 100 uh, percentage then we will uh, uh, resume back okay In the process of installation of SAP tool, in between SAP may ask you to trust or accept some of the certificates which is really necessary for SAP tools to install properly. You have to select all the certificates and say OK and your installation steps would be completed with that. As you can see over here, once the necessary SAP tools has been installed, you will be able to prompt it or you will be prompted to restart the Eclipse. You just restart that, then you will be able to see the newly installed uh, SAP related tools such as BW modeling tool or whichever the one which you have installed will appear in Eclipse. And one more important thing which I observed is sometimes you may have to uh, run your Eclipse as an administrator while installing that particular SAP tools because uh, SAP will uh, or else that installation process will 
might prompt you to trust some sites or install some certificates. So for that reason, I recommend you guys to run this installation, meaning run the Eclipse as an administrator and then you add that on-demand URL and then proceed with the installation of SAP tools just to ensure that we have all the necessary rights during the installation process. So our installation step has been completed and at the same time uh, once the installation completed what the system did system asked us to do the restart of the Eclipse. Now the, my Eclipse got restarted and if you want to go and uh, see the installed perspective what we have to do we have to go to Windows perspective open perspective and if you are not able to find your install perspective you click on other so in the prompt you can see earlier we were not able to have this many perspective now we are able to see the bw modeling perspective abap profiling abap development perspective and even sap hana related perspective also so this is one way to open your perspective window or else there is a shortcut given by sap if you see over here in the right hand side up corner right top corner you see there's a button which is the shortcut for open perspective you can click on that double click on bw modeling tools if at all you wanted to do the bw modeling uh, related activity now system will give you the window where you can go ahead and create a project at the same time if you are an ana consultant you go and choose the respective perspective maybe you might be working in HANA modeler perspective or HANA developer perspective. Automatically the respective perspective will be opened where you can configure even native HANA uh, system related information and log into the system and do the native HANA modeling. Right? Hopefully as part of this video you guys got to know how can we install SAP tools in Eclipse or HANA studio. So the very very important stuff is what you have to ensure and check what is the Eclipse version which you are running or which you have installed or downloaded and you have to go and get the corresponding version of the SAP tool link from the on-demand portal which is this portal okay on tools.ondemand.hana.ondemand.com so check the eclipse version and take the corresponding link and go and perform the installation step from your eclipse okay hopefully as part of this video you got to know how to install sap tools in eclipse or hana studio if at all you still have any doubts feel free to put those doubts in the comment section and also one more important thing as i told earlier when you run your eclipse for the very first time for installation of sap tools run as an administrator so that if there is any certificate uh, needs to be installed obviously obviously the admin right is really needed so run your eclipse as an administrator during the process of installation of sap tools and uh, go ahead and uh, follow the rest of the steps which has been explained in this video you will be good to go so i hope you guys really like uh, this video friends if at all you are looking on training on sap abap BW, BW ABAP, BW for ANA or BW on ANA, Native ANA and HANA related SQL, feel free to reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopalmn1988 at the gmail.com. At the same time, you can also call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973998 3992. Thank you so much friends and have a good one.